India defeated Australia by six wickets in the second test to take an unassailable 2-0 lead in the four-match series in another three-day finish. Set a target of 115 after Australia were bowled out for 113 in their second innings. India completed the chase in 26.4 overs on the third day of the match. Indian skipper Rohit Sharma revealed the mantra behind the win, which was to keep things calm and tight and force batters to make the mistake. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to keep it simple, uh, not to complicate too much about what is happening. Uh, you know, yesterday um, we bowled about 12 or 13 overs and there were 62, which is more than five and a half. Uh, and I could see that, you know, we were panicking a little bit, we were trying to change fields way too many times. Uh, but, you know, I just, in, in the morning we just, wanted to tell uh, those three guys that we just keep it calm and you know we we don't need to change fields uh, as often as we did in uh, did last evening uh, you know we, we keep it there we keep it tight and let the batters make that mistake and I could I could sense it that you know they they wanted to play that way uh, and that wicket was not where you could just come out and keep playing the shots. Uh, you got to find balance and, uh, you know, uh, try and put them under pressure. And that is what we wanted to try and do this morning. Uh, just keep it tight. If they're playing some shots, so be it. Uh, we're not going to move away from what we want to do as, as bowling unit. The Indian skipper was all praise for the comeback man Ravindra Chadeja as he hailed him for his yet another match-winning performance, which earned him the Player of the Match award. The Indian all-rounder scalped seven wickets in the second innings and ten overall in the second test match and also backed his career best figures of 7 for 42. Yeah, look, uh, he has been brilliant. Uh, you know, comebacks are not easy, but uh, I think the confidence that guy has in his ability, that is massive uh, and you can see it out on the field. Uh, there are times where he was put under pressure, but there was no sense of panic from him. Uh, you know, he just kept uh, relying on what he is best at and he kept doing that. Uh, yesterday he was put under pressure. He went, I think, more than five runs and over uh, last evening. But he knew exactly, you know, what uh, the batters were trying to do, the Australian batters. And he was confident in his ability that, you know, he can, he can get uh, those guys out, get them uh, under pressure and things like that because Guys, guy has played so much cricket, more than 250 wickets. So he knows. Uh, he has got, like I said at the start, he's got confident. Uh, he's very confident in his ability, and I just have to trust that confidence. The Indian captain has backed Vice Captain K L Rahul and acknowledged that there has been a lot of talk about his deputy's prolonged lean patch, and that the batter needs to devise his own methods of scoring runs on slow turners. With the young Shubman Gill waiting in the wings, despite his golden run across formats, the pressure is increasing on Rahul, who averages less than 35 after 47 tests, which is poor by any standards. Obviously, you know, off late there has been, uh, you know, a lot of talks. But from us, it's, it was clear uh, from our side that we want him to go out and just play, uh, play his game and do what he can do the best that we have seen him do over, over the years. Uh, of course, when you're playing on pitches like this, you need to find your methods of scoring runs. Um, like I said, uh, different individuals are part of this team and they will have different methods of scoring runs. Find your own methods of doing it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, uh, we, we are not going to look too much into what one individual is doing, it's about the entire team, it's about how everyone needs to come together because this is an important series for us, a big one as well. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's my thought on, uh, on KL. The win in the second test means that the Indian team has successfully retained the prestigious Porta Gavaskar Trophy with the third test to be played in Indore's Holkar Cricket Stadium from March 1 and the final test to be staged in Ahmedabad on March 9.